Pies. I'm Lanikia, and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is uh, General Hospital Edition. All right, guys, today is sep uh, excuse me, Wednesday, September the 21st, 2022. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this a 7.5. Before I get started, I just want to thank uh, Sandy, and I hope I pronounced this right, Omilus, for uh, sending me your well wishes. You know, I was very devastated by Brando yesterday, and I appreciate that. <laughs> but let's get on into this episode, y'all. All right, we start off with Alexis and Sonny. And he was like, I know you didn't get much sleep last night. You had to go all night and do this Invader uh, <laughs> article or whatever. And she, he was like, Alexis and she was like I know I was gonna try to get you a heads up but time got away from me how was Gladys and he was like is this off the record or on the record she was like Sonny and but he was like um Sasha I mean how do you expect like how you know she's not doing well she's having a hard time with this oh my gosh my heart breaks for Sasha because it's just like one thing after another her baby her job now Brando is like oh my goodness so then we see um Christina, Alexis, because they're Sonny and Alexis are together because they want to go check on Christina. So when they get to Charlie's pub, they see Christina is talking to Victor and Valentine is there. <laughs> I said, Victor really got Valentine like his personal bodyguard, a lap dog here. You stay right there while I'm talking. <laughs> and so uh, Christina and and Victor are talking and everything, and and uh, Sonny and Alexis look at each other like, uh-uh, we about to stop this right now. And Valentine comes, and he grabs up Alexis. He said, listen, I've been one of his foot, Victor's foot soldiers or whatever. Don't get involved in this. Let Sonny handle the bad and everything. So Sonny goes up, and Christina said they were talking about how to pronounce scones and everything. And so she was like, great, Uncle, Uncle Victor. Y'all. I be forgetting people related on this soap and everything. You know, you just for because every everybody been been with everybody, so you know, every everything gets intertwined and and you just, I for just forget sometimes. But anyways, um, she's she's talking to um him about that and and then she leaves. She ends up leaving, and Sonny tells Victor, you know, stay away from my family. He says, unfortunately, whether you like it or not, Christina is my family too. And Victor leaves, and Sonny looking at him, and Victor on the phone harassing Lucy. And then so okay, so then Sonny, Christina, and Alexis talk. And baby, this conversation went left so fast. <laughs> so they're talking and they're trying to see how she's doing. She says, I'm good. You need to check on Brando. I mean, excuse me, you need to check on Gladys and Sasha. I said, Well, are you sure you're good? Because you was at the hospital having a harder time about it than Sasha and Gladys. And now it's like you on bounce back and and laughing. And I said, Okay, we well, I'm just gonna roll with it, General Hospital. But anyways, um, and so they're talking to her and everything. And they said, we want to add you some protection. She said, oh my gosh, great uncle Victor wanted to do the same thing. He came to check on me and he wanted to add um, like a security guard or protection. So I'm like, I don't want that. And Alexis was like, well, this is the one time your great uncle Victor and we agree uh, and us, we all agree on that. And so she said no she said um phyllis is slammed the college at night because of the college students because you know oh my gosh i remember that back in the day we used to go to class and stuff and then like on a, after we get out of a, a party or something on a friday and saturday night um well it'd be early morning but y'all know what i mean we go and go to a truck stop or somewhere and get something to eat man that was some good days or we go by ihop <sighs> That was fun, especially that first semester away from home. Oh my goodness, it was like the freedom, Lord. Thank you. But, anyways, focus. So, anyways, Christina is like, I'm not gonna do this because they need help. I mean, she needs help. And baby Alexis said, So you're gonna lose your life over a dead end job. I said, Alexis. And Sonny looking like, girl, what? 
He said, Christina, we're not here to talk about your job. She said, oh, no. Like, but apparently every chance mom gets, because he was like, we're here to talk about your safety. She said, but of course, mom had to throw, make a dig at my job or whatever. And she was like, I like my job. It, 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 do I embarrass you? And Alexa was like, of course not. But Alexa is just like, I just wanted you to do live up to your full potential. And I don't think you waiting tables at Charlie's or being a manager or whatever at Charlie's is doing that. And Christina said, am I going to do this forever? No. But right now it makes me happy. Don't y'all want me happy? And Sonny was like, of course, or whatever. Because at one point, Christina was going at Alexa so hard. Sonny had to say, y'all know how Sonny do. Enough. <laughs> I said, that's his word. Enough. He loves to say somebody's name and say enough. But Christina was just like, I'm happy. And she said that nobody with a hook or crook is going to stop me. And so Sonny looked at Alexa. She looking at him. And she said, he was like, that's you. And she was like, I know. I know. Because she know there's nothing you're going to do. Christina has her own mind. And she's going to do what she want to do. So then, y'all, we see Valentine and Victor talk. And Valentine is like, I want to know when I can see Charlotte. And Victor says, I'm busy right now. But we're going to talk about it when you go for a visit. Oh. And so then we see Brooklyn start this episode. And I said, what has Chase got on? That was a whole mess. Like, don't y'all do that to that boy. <laughs> but she having a dream about Chase or whatever. And he's about to get on stage. But he said, they can wait. And I, first of all, I said, why is Curtis talking like that? Did y'all hear the speech? I was like, that is horrible. But anyways, it was the speech that what they had him saying. But um, he says, they can wait. I want to be with you. And then she's in a whole meeting. So Maxie and Lucy are like, where were you? And she was like, I, I was just thinking. And they said, we need to get ahead of this with Sasha and, and all of that. And she says, well, you know, I, I have a statement. And they said, yes, we know. Like we were supposed to, we should have released that statement last night or sometime. And, you know, it's the next day. And she said, I didn't get the messages. And they said, we text you. We called you. And she said, you know, I have it on do not disturb. And they just tell her you're too involved with Chase. You're not handling business. Um, our social media and everything because you're involved with Chase and you don't have enough time. And so we want you to focus. And she just finished telling them she was going to focus. And then she get a reminder that she has to meet uh, with Chase in 15 minutes. I said, girl. So she says, but I have to go right now. So now Lucy is um munching down on those gummy bears. I said, is there an advertisement for the gummy bears? Because why is it all in the camera like this? But she's munching down hard on those gummy bears and everything because Brooklyn done stressed her out. <laughs> and so Lucy's just like, oh my gosh, we're going to, um, we're, we're, this is a mess. We're going to have to end up getting rid of Brooklyn. And Maxi was like, no, Lucy. So they, they not, you know how they fuss, but they're not really fussing. So then Victor comes in and he wants to take Lucy to lunch. Now, Lucy doesn't want to go or whatever, but, um, she, she, so she's trying to make him, I'm not holding you long. She's trying to make them an excuse and Maxi won't give her a cover. I said, girl, <laughs> you wrong for that Maxi. And so anyways, so Maxi ends up leaving the office because Lucy kept saying we have a meeting and Maxi was like, no, we had that yesterday. Well, we had this other meeting. The concepts went well. I said, now you wrong. So anyways, Victor was like, I thought she'd never leave. So then Lucy is like, I can't go because of Sasha and everything. And you understand. And he said, no, I don't understand. I said, Victor, the woman don't want you. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> he know it but he says i i can't do in capital and i said victor what's with all the innuendos but anyways um so she go to the meeting because he talking about he want to talk business and you know lucy loves some money so then we see uh finn is walking and chase grabs him up and he said what happened to brando and he said we he you know we don't know or whatever because chase said uh-uh there was something he was like i talked to sasha and he was doing good and then i call her again and he's dead he said so i know something happened or whatever and so but chase is i mean um finn is just like you can't investigate this because it is an investigation and <clears throat> they don't want anyone to be in trouble you know because you could go and investigate it and be in trouble he said unfortunately you're not a cop so you can't help or whatever um and so that was pretty much it with them so chase has to leave because he has that um appointment so then tosh up uh, tasha portia and um Curtis talk and he says, you know what happened to Brando? And she looked at the results and they're still not there. I said, girl, you couldn't tell Curtis no ways, HIPAA. <laughs> like, what are you doing? And anyways, he says, 
um he was talking he lets her know he was talking to jordan and she says so what what, what was said he said i'm gonna tell you everything you know later on tonight i said uh curtis is not that damn dang deep oh i'm sorry i've been um cursing a little bit of my bad y'all but anyways we see miss Wu comes in and curtis said um what good news could you possibly have that would bring you here at this time of day? She said, it ain't good news, but she said um, she thinks about when Sonny wanted Chase to sing at the Savoy. And so she said, I said, I guess she want a favor from Sonny or something. So she said, um, I have a, a, a business um a me a party she wants to throw or something like that. And um, he's like, okay. And she was looking for, she, she'd be looking for entertainment or whatever. And he was like, okay. And, um, he was like, we're not partners. Cause Miss will be acting like they're partners and stuff. And first of all, Miss Luke will look real pretty. I said, oh, they added some hair to her. They got her, like, they got her dressing different and it looks good on her. She's a pretty woman or whatever. So anyways, Brooklyn and them come in and they're like, we're here for our appointment with you credits. And he like, what y'all talking about? And they said, to sing at the Savoy, we had an audition, and he was like, I don't know nothing about an audition. I said, now, nah, Miss Wu. <laughs> and so then um, Brooklyn was, Chase was like, oh, let's just leave. And and Brooklyn was like, well, since you're we're here and you're here, because they was like, oh, the assistant got it wrong. Could we go ahead and just perform? And Credits was like, sure, I I, I could use a refresher on Chase. And y'all, he does a, he does a really good job. But anyways, before he performs, Brooklyn said, are you mad at me or whatever? Um, because I'm making you perform after, you know, Brando. And she was, he was like, no, um, this is the best thing for him to be doing anyways. So he performs and he does a really good job. Miss Wu was over there jamming. She was like, yeah, I like this. And uh, of course, you know, Brooklyn was supportive. And so Curtis told him, you're going to be, oh, you're going to be performing. And Brooklyn went and kissed the man. And Curtis was like, well, okay then. I said, now Brooklyn, I'm professional. <laughs> oh Lord. Anyways. So Curtis is going to tell Miss Wu that little party you want to have. And I guess it's the whole thing with uh, Chase. He said, it's going to be five, five, 50,000. He said, it's going to be 50 thousand and she said you take checks i said you better tell them miss Wu, what is fifty thousand to you let's move on so then anna is on the phone with robert or whatever and somebody coming up behind her with a hook and everything i said oh lord they about to hook anna it ain't nobody but jordan i said stop playing girl <laughs> anna got on their phone she said what's going on here and Jordan said, this is the same hook that's been attacking um, Brandon and, them and all that. And she said, do you need any help? She said, no, nah, I'm, I'm going to got this. She said, not my personal life. And so Anna is asking her, well, what did you decide? Did you decide to tell Curtis what you know? Like the Because Anna doesn't know anything. She just knows that Portia, I mean, uh, Jordan knows the secret that she hasn't told Curtis. She said, don't you think for Curtis' happiness, you should tell him? Jordan is me. He's going to be mad either way, so I'm going to just keep my mouth shut. He's going to be mad if I tell because I'm going to be ruining it, you know, his relationship. And if I hold the secret, he might be mad anyways. It ain't my business. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. He already think I want him. Even though, she, you know, Jordan don't want him where she would try to take him from Portia. But if he was to give Jordan a second chance, she would take him. Anyways, Valentine comes up and and everything, and they're they're all talking, and and Jordan just tells them be safe out here, and so Valentine and Anna talk, and she tells him, um, Robert's people are pulling off the case because he said she's scared, he's scared, afraid, and she said that's you need that when we're dealing with stuff like this because it makes you brave, and we're gonna have to be brave. And he was like, what do you know? And she said Robert's people are pulling off the case, the mere mention of Victor's name, and they're pulling away. And he's like, oh, gosh. And she said, um, he said, well, we still have Lucy to try to help. And she said, if these people who are professionals are terrified and won't help, I don't think we should send Lucy in to do this. And I, I Anna, I told you that from the beginning. And so Valentin was like, yeah, we probably should get her. So they go to um, Deception and Maxie like, uh, they're like, where's Lucy? And she said, oh, uh, she went to lunch. They left. And they were like, 
who is they? And she said, uh, Victor Kane is here. And then Luce, uh, tomorrow, Maxie going to be like, oh, my gosh, um, is she in trouble or something like that? I'm like, yes, because you should have listened to Lucy when she told you she didn't want to go with the man or whatever. But y'all see. So then we see Finn and Portia. And Portia already know it was Finn who was the one who told um, the invader. And so she tells him he did a good thing. You know, she she tell him what I tell him that he did a good thing and and that she know it was him or whatever. But Jordan hears this and she comes up and she says, um, the last thing we needed was somebody to go to the invader and spread it. She said, this is the same thing that happened with, who was it, Peter August? And then... Um, Somebody was it Anna or somebody attacked Dante instead of attacking Peter or so, or Alexis or somebody did that. I'm, I'm I'm sorry, I forget. Um, but she said so. Sometimes when you know information, you got to keep your mouth quiet because you're giving the killer um an update when you give the rest of the public an update. And you know we don't have that advantage. And so Finn back there because she's talking to Portia because Portia came down. And Finn back there at the nursing station, like, God dang, I messed up. And then this woman comes up to uh, Portia and she says, these are the resorts you were, results you were looking for. And it's for Brando. And y'all, they said, the hook had a poison on it. It had a toxin on it. And that's what killed Brando. I said, well, you dirty. You dirty. But anyways, guys, that was um, what happened on the soaps. <laughs> Excuse me, my sinus. That was what happened on the Soaps General Hospital edition. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you tomorrow for a new episode. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.